Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Marion Wright Edelman. We honor Dr. King today in granite, but what's important is that we honor him tomorrow and every day for as long as it takes in transformed values, voices for justice, unrelenting nonviolent action to rescue his dream and America's banishing dreams from the clutches of materialism, militarism, racism, and poverty he warned would undo America. Mississippi, 1964. Over 80% of blacks were poor. Children suffered the most. Marion Wright, a young civil rights lawyer and the first black woman to pass the Mississippi Bar, committed herself to improving the lives of Mississippi's children. In 1967, she testified before a Senate subcommittee. They're starving. They're starving, and those who can get the bus fare to go north are trying to go north. But there's absolutely nothing for them to do. There's nowhere to go. Senator Robert F. Kennedy, stunned by her testimony, went with her into the Mississippi Delta to investigate. Starvation is a major, major problem now. What do you have for lunch? You haven't had lunch yet? No. Senator Kennedy pushed for help. The nation was slow to respond with food and support for Mississippi. So in 1968, Kennedy asked Marion Wright to urge Martin Luther King Jr. to bring poor people to Washington. I want some of you all to go to Washington with us, even if you have to bring a whole family. When he called for a poor people's campaign in 1968, we had about 25 million poor people, including 11 million poor children. Where is your voice to say stop children falling into poverty? Marion Wright Edelman created the Children's Defense Fund to change the odds for all children. CDF's first report, Children Out of School in America, revealed the disturbing truth that more than two million children were not in school just because they were disabled, pregnant, poor, minority, or did not speak English. A year later, in 1975, federal legislation for the first time guaranteed children with disabilities the right to free, appropriate education. Millions have benefited. For nearly four decades, CDF has fought for a framework of laws with one goal, to leave no child behind. Increased federal funding for Head Start and later for Early Head Start ensured tens of millions of poor children were ready to learn. CDF worked with others to secure safe, affordable child care for millions each year and expanded health care to cover uninsured children and pregnant women. Today, 95% of all children in America have access to health care. Through the Black Community Crusade for Children, CDF created the Cradle to Prison Pipeline Campaign. If we don't break up that Cradle to Prison Pipeline, which is sending one in three 10-year-old black boys to prison, we're going to have a new apartheid in America. Speak up and rescue your children. Dr. King is not coming back. We're it. He told us what to do. Let's honor him by doing it. I'm stepping up. Are you stepping up? Yes, I'm stepping up. Are you stepping up? I'm stepping up because more than 80% of blacks and Latino children cannot read, do math, or compute. At grade level! The higher you build your barriers, 
Since 1995, more than 90,000 low-income kindergartners through 12th graders have participated in the CDF Freedom Schools program. The I Can Make a Difference theme empowers children as they learn to fall in love with reading. More than 9,000 college students and young adults have been trained by CDF to make learning fun and to deliver the integrated curriculum. The next generation won't have a chance if we don't step up right now. An injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We need to internalize that and keep moving forward. CDF's Young Advocate Leadership Training Program gives college students and young people the movement building skills to go back to their communities to work for positive productive change for children. Today, CDF continues to raise a strong, effective, and independent voice for all children who cannot vote, lobby, or speak for themselves. And we continue to raise up the positive potential of young people, as we have for more than 20 years with our Beat the Odds Scholarship and Leadership Development Program. Determined to succeed, each one of them has overcome tremendous challenges. Each one of them, like the Children's Defense Fund, never gives up.